Hey, Kali Linux released new update 2022.3. On the 9th of August, Offensive Security announced the release of Kali Linux 2022.3. In the announcement, Offensive Security has confirmed a few new things newly added exclusively in this third version of 2022. We have created this video to make it easy for the SEC master readers to know more about what is new in Kali Linux 2022.3. What tools add on Kali? Why you should upgrade Kali Linux to 2022.3. And finally, how to upgrade Kali Linux to 2022.3 from an older release. Let's see the answers one by one without further delay. Hey guys, it's John here from Hacker Joe channel. Welcome to Hacker Joe channel. We show you technology like hacking skill, how to hack, how to be hacker, programming language, best website, best things, and amazing things. Make sure subscribe to channel and don't forget to click notification bell. The first things people ask is, what is new in Kali Linux 2022.3? This should be the common and the first question that everybody has before going to upgrade Kali Linux to 2022.3. Let's see what is new in Kali Linux 2022.3. List of new features Kali Linux offered in 2022.3. The first new in Kali is improved virtual machine support. While Kali Linux already provides VM images for VMware and VirtualBox, some new changes have been made to make it easier to deploy Kali on VMs. Offensive Security now distributes VirtualBox images as VDI disks and VBox metadata files, so you can quickly add Kali as a new VM. Additionally, weekly VM image versions for Kali Linux are released with the latest packages. However, they are not as thoroughly tested as the regular versions. Additionally, if you need to build your custom VM images, Kali Linux has made some scripts available on GitLab. The second new and most important for Hacker is, they added five tools. What's a new Kali Linux release without new tools to play with? This release has added five new tools, including a password spraying tool, a PHP post exploitation toolkit, and a new network analysis tool. The first tool they add is Brute Shark Network Analysis Tool. This package includes a network forensic analysis tool, which performs thorough processing and inspection of network traffic. It includes extracting passwords, creating network maps, rebuilding TCP sessions, extracting hashes of encrypted passwords, and even converting them to Hashcat format to perform offline brute force attacks. The main goal of this project is to provide security researchers and network administrators with a solution for analyzing network traffic while attempting to identify vulnerabilities that potential attackers can use to gain access to critical points of the network. To install this tool just type this command on terminal. sudo apt install brutishark. This is almost 80 megabyte. It takes time to install based on your internet connection speed. After finish type this on terminal to start Brute Shark. Brute Shark CLI hyphen H The second tool added in Kali is Defect Dojo. This package contains a security orchestration and vulnerability management platform. Defect Dojo allows you to manage your application security program, maintain product and application information, triage vulnerabilities and push findings to systems like JIRA and Slack. Defect Dojo enriches and refines vulnerability data using a number of heuristic algorithms that improve with the more you use the platform. To install this tool just type on terminal. sudo apt install defect dojo. This is almost 165 megabyte. It takes time to install based on your internet connection speed. After finish type this on terminal to start defect dojo defect dojo hyphen h to see what you can do in this tool 
The third two is PHP Sploit. This package contains a remote control framework, aiming to provide a stealth interactive shell-like connection over HTTP between client and web server. It is a post-exploitation tool capable to maintain access to a compromised web server for privilege escalation purposes. To install this tool just type on terminal. sudo apt install php sploit. This will finish in a second. After finish type this on terminal to start php sploit. php sploit hyphen h. To get help menu. The fourth tool they add is Shellfire. This package contains an exploitation shell which focuses on exploiting LFI, RFI, and command injection vulnerabilities. This is simple to install like others just type on terminal this command. sudo apt install Shellfire. This will finish in a second. Shellfire H to show what you can do in this tool. The last or the fifth tool they add is Spraying Toolkit, a set of Python scripts or utilities that tries to make password spraying attacks against link divided by S4B and OWA a lot quicker, less painful, and more efficient. This is simple to install like others just type on terminal this. sudo apt install spraying toolkit. This will finish in a second too. Atomizer hyphen H to bring help menu. These five tools are amazing tool for hacker and for ethical hacker you have to learn about them and use them. Now let's go to the third new feature in Kali. The third new in Kali is new meta package for test lab environments. Offensive security has introduced new meta package Kali Linux labs to build up a test lab. This new meta package is packed up with DVWA and juice shop packages at this release. You can use these commands to install these commands sudo apt install kali linux labs it will take time to install this based on a new internet connection speed It will installs two of them DVWA and Juice Shop packages. I like it this future because before this update I was trouble to install Juice Shop but now I can install simply. The fourth new in Kali is Enhanced Arm Support. This release also includes numerous improvements for ARM users, with new versions for Raspberry Pi, Pinebook, and US Armory MKII. All Raspberry Pi devices have had their kernel upgraded to 5.15. Created ARM.Kali.org to have an overview and statistics for Kali ARM. Every Kali ARM device has had their default size for the boot partition set to 256 megabytes. Pinebook has had the broken sleep modes removed, so it should no longer go to sleep and be unable to wake up. USB Armory MKII moved to the 2022.04U boot release. This is just 4 new things on Kali they add so many things and update so many things this is just 4 new things. Now let's look, how to get Kali Linux 2022.3. To get started with Kali Linux 2022.3, you can update your existing installation, choose a platform, or directly download an ISO image for new installations and live distribution. For users upgrading from a previous version, 
you can use the following command to upgrade to the latest version. sudo apt update and then sudo apt y full upgrade. I am already upgraded in Kali 2022.3 so if you don't upgrade before doesn't come like this. This command will upgrade your Kali but if this not work for you, I will put another command in description so you can upgrade fully to Kali 2022.3. It will take time to upgrade based on your internet connection. After finish it will reboot then check if it is upgrade or not by typing this command on terminal. Wrap version etc os release. And that's it, your Kali installation should now be up to date. This is how you can upgrade Kali Linux to 2022.3. I hope this video will help you learn what is new in Kali Linux 2022.3 and how to upgrade Kali Linux to 2022.3. Thanks for watching this video. Anyway, I hope you liked this video. If you have any questions let me know by the comments section. I will happy to reply to you. And don't forget to subscribe and in case you are first time here check some other videos. Thank you all of you, love you.